Rapsodo Mobile Launch Monitor retails at around £450 or $500, but you can get some good deals if you shop about. There's hardly anything to this launch monitor when it comes out of the box. It comes with a case, a charging cable, and the small and portable launch monitor itself. The case even comes with a clip so you can attach it to your golf bag and take it with you whether you're going to the course or the driving range. Rapsodo claims that it takes less than 30 seconds to set up the mobile launch monitor. I'll go into a bit more detail about this later because I'll be honest I've struggled since I've been using it. But in theory you place the launch monitor behind your ball, slip your phone or your iPad into the slot, open up the app and start hitting balls. The mobile launch monitor can be used outdoors and also indoors with a net. Outdoors, the setup is fairly simple, as you just place the launch monitor down six feet behind the golf ball and away you go. However, indoors, you need to make sure that the launch monitor is at least six feet behind the ball, and the ball must also travel at least eight feet before it hits the net so that the Doppler radar system can accurately pick up the data. The Rapsodo measures ball and club data parameters that can help you improve your golf game, including carry distance, ball speed, club head speed, launch angle, smash factor and shot direction. Rapsodo also claim that the data the mobile launch monitor provides is accurate to within 2% of the £20,000 plus TrackMan 4 launch monitor. I haven't tested this out yet, but it's something that I'm looking to test on this channel in the near future. What I really like about this launch monitor is that the feedback you receive is very quick and there's even a voice that tells you the data from your selected parameters. Distance is 233 yards. Launch angle is 10.2 degrees. Club speed is 99 miles per hour. You can dig deeper into the rest of the data for further analysis after your session. You can also choose which three parameters the launch monitor displays during your practice. If you're using the Rapsodo outdoors, it will also show you a shot tracer, which is cool. And with the pro version of the software, it will also show you your shot apex and you can replay your swing in slow motion too. Um, do you know what? I'm quite impressed. Uh, it took me a fair few shots actually to get the thing reading. Um, don't know what I was doing wrong, uh, but I didn't change anything. And then all of a sudden it started picking them up and it's getting the ball flight really, really good. Distance, I'm assuming it's all right. It's about right for my driver and my seven iron so far. But yeah, so far, I quite like it, it's great. Much better in the daylight than it is at nighttime, obviously. As well as what we've already learned, the Rapsodo MLM comes with some other impressive features, including online long drive and closer to the pin competitions, and a shot library for up to 100 shots with the standard version and a massive 10,000 shots if you get the premium version. The instructions state that you should only use white golf balls with the MLM, but my local driving range provides yellow balls as well and they were also picked up by the launch monitor absolutely fine. If you're interested in accessing online coaching from golf professionals all around the world, you can sign up for some online lessons for an additional cost with the premium version. It's compatible with iOS only, so you need to own an iPhone or an iPad to use it, and it needs to run a relatively recent version of iOS as well. If you have all of that, then it's a simple case of downloading an app, setting up a profile, and away you go. The mobile launch monitor claims that you can set it up easily within 30 seconds, but I must admit I've found it much more difficult than that. Even after using it numerous times, I still can't figure out how to correctly position the mobile launch monitor so that the alignment line is in line with the ball and I'm positioned inside the correct area on the screen. It usually takes me quite a few swings and some fiddling with the launch monitor's position to get it to start reading my shots and providing data. It's probably a simple fix, but I've purposely only used the instructions provided to set up the Rapsodo. It might just be me, but I don't think it's as easy as they make it out to be and it's pretty frustrating hitting shot after shot and getting no feedback. It doesn't pick up every shot, that's a bit annoying, don't even do something wrong. But yeah, there's quite a few no reads, um, maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. But on the whole, pretty good. The Rapsodo mobile launch monitor only works accurately during daylight, which in my opinion isn't ideal, especially if people can only use the driving range at night. 
When I first used the mobile launch monitor, I used it at night in a well-lit driving range, but unfortunately it only picked up about a quarter of my shots. I even let some of the incoachables put it to the test as well. This is where the money's at. <laughs> they want, they want more content from me. <laughs> Just be cautious if you've got an iOS device that doesn't have the best battery life. When I first used the mobile launch monitor with my two-year-old iPhone, it rinsed the battery life very quickly. Since then, I've got a new phone and it does seem to last a little bit longer. Those of you that have already subscribed to the channel will know that I've got an indoor simulator room that's quite restricted for space. I just have enough space to use the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor indoors. However, I found it tough to get the launch monitor to read shots successfully and it just picks them up sporadically. Distance is 123 yards. Ball speed is 93 miles per hour. Also, the lighting may have something to do with these shots that don't read. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Rapsodo needs plenty of light to function accurately. And those of us with simulator rooms like to keep them pretty dark so that we can project a clear image onto our screens. So just be aware that if you're thinking of using the mobile launch monitor indoors, use a well-lit room that's got plenty of space. In order for the Rapsodo to provide accurate data, you need to tell it what club you're using. This can be a bit of an extra hassle and sometimes you might hit some shots with a new club and forget to update it on the app. One of the cool features of the mobile launch monitor is that you can actually point your club at your phone camera and it will automatically recognise what club you're using. Now unfortunately, I've not been able to figure this out yet as every time I point my club at the camera, it doesn't do anything. Maybe this is just me not doing something right, but again, I've just followed the instructions that came with the MLM and I've been unable to get it to work. Right, okay, I don't know if you can hear me all right or not, but it's all right. The Rapsodo mobile launch monitor is all right. It doesn't pick up every single shot. That's a bit frustrating. There's more no reads than on a Skytrack, really. Um, the distances seem okay. I mean, it's tough because I'm outdoors. There's a lot of wind today. You can't really judge from where the ball's landing on the range. And... I don't have another launch monitor here to compare it next to. But in general, it seems pretty good. Um, yeah, 500 quid. Not convinced yet for 500 quid. Right, the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor is a nice piece of kit and I love how small it is. You can just clip it to your golf bag and away you go. Now, I think I'm coming at this from the perspective of somebody who already owns a more expensive launch monitor and it would be amazing to see some shot tracers indoors as well as outdoors, and it would be great if it would work better in lower light situations as well. But for the £450 retail price, it's not a bad piece of kit. I'd be buying this if I wanted to work out my average carry distances, maybe improve my shot dispersion a little bit, and just do some general bag mapping. If you're interested in buying a Rapsodo mobile launch monitor, I will put a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been beneficial to you. If it has, please hit the like button and subscribe to Handicap Golf and hopefully I'll see you again soon.